Hello, my name is Grant Emerson. For the 2020 Congressional App Challenge, I built an app called Plotney. Plotney is an iOS harmonograph simulator app that bridges the gap between visual art and music by transforming MIDI or musical instrument digital interface input into beautiful animated drawings. Plotney was designed to inspire musicians in their process of composing new tracks by transforming the notes and chords that they play into visual feedback in the form of a lively, animating, and colorful harmonograph. I built Plotney as an app for iPad by using Apple's Xcode IDE or Integrated Development Environment. I wrote the code for Plotney using a mixture of Swift, Objective-C, and C++. I utilized Swift to build the main app for Plotney. When I added support for Plotney to be hosted as an audio unit extension in other host music-making iOS apps such as Cubasis and BeatMaker 3, I had to use Objective-C and C++ to interface with a low-level audio unit API or application programming interface. I built Plotney's user interface and the harmonograph visualizer using Apple's SwiftUI framework, which was released during last year's Worldwide Developer Conference. The audio output of Plotney for when it is used as a standalone app was developed using Apple's audio sampler API, which is part of the AV Foundation framework. Lastly, the flow of, of MIDI data throughout Plotney is managed using Apple's combined framework. Now let's check out what Plotney actually does and how it can be integrated into various musicians' workflows. Upon opening Plotney, you can see that Plotney is divided into five key areas. Plotney's built-in keyboard can be found in the bottom half of the screen. Above the keyboard is a series of controls pertaining to MIDI and audio. On the left is a control which changes the starting octave on, a, on Plotney's keyboard. In the middle is a control which changes the selected instrument for audio output for when Plotney is used as a standalone app. On the right, there is a control for changing which ports Plotney accepts MIDI on, and then there is a button for connecting Bluetooth MIDI keyboards to Plotney after that. Directly above these controls in the middle of the screen is Plotney's main component, the harmonograph visualizer. If I play a C major chord, you can see that the harmonograph visualizer animates the drawing to the specified harmonograph. This, this drawing, along with other harmonograph drawings, are not random. A physical harmonograph connects a pen or pencil to a series of pendulums that, when released, all swing at specified frequencies. The combination of the frequencies of the swinging pendulums drags the pen or pencil across a surface, such as a piece of paper, to render beautiful drawings such as this. So you can see the, that harmonographs are simply a way of visualizing the set of frequencies that form a chord. Because monograph drawings aren't random, I can play a C major chord, then a C minor chord, and then repeat that, and the generated drawings are the same. Harmonographs are a great way for visualizing visual feedback for musicians while they compose music. Download Plotney today for free on an iPad running iOS 13 or higher to check out how fun making music can be with fun and engaging visual feedback.